In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable two-factor authentication in WordPress, which is an extra layer of security that can help protect your website from hackers. Hey guys, my name is Raman and welcome to Webby Digital channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable 2FA in WordPress. So now you must be wondering what is 2FA. See, 2FA is, or you can say two-factor authentication is an extra layer of security that can be added to your WordPress login. It requires you to have two things before you can log in. Something you know, which is actually your password, right? Like you log in with your email or username and then password. And second layer is something you have, which is a code generated by an app on your phone, or you have a list of codes in your email, or you have some security keys lies in your desktop somewhere else. So with 2FA enabled, even if someone knows your password, they won't be able to log into your WordPress site unless they also have the same code. So yeah, now you must be wondering why you need a 2FA, right? So there are mainly a two reasons to enable 2FA in your WordPress website. First is to protect your site from the brute force attacks because they may have cracked your password or email, but they won't have the code which is lies somewhere in your mobile phone or your desktop or even in your app and uh, second is to make it more difficult for someone to hack your account even if they have your password so as any website owner security is essential right so not only do you need to protect your site from malware and hackers but you also need to safeguard your visitors information if you have a membership based website or something like that you can also enable that in using a plugin so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because we are going to cover so much more about such topic about marketing about everything in this channel so let's get started so here we have a demo website webby.com which is a development based website where we test all the functionality here so what one thing you need to do is go to the blog if you want to practice it with us then just go to the blog and follow all the instruction there and we will use those instructions from the blog to apply on this particular demo project so if you have a website so open your website log in with your credentials and go to this dashboard here which is wordpress dashboard so first thing we will do is using a 2FA plugin by plugin computers what you need to do is go to the dashboard here like this and go to the plugins click add new plugin here you can search for two factor okay so now we have uh, this set of uh, plugins available for us in this tutorial we are going to cover this particular plugin and this so let's go with the two factor by plugin computers just click on the installation it will start installing and click on the activate afterwards so yes activate and now it just activated our plugin so to use this plugin what you need to do is go to your user here and go to the profile and just drag or you can say scroll down to this section two factor op options here so you have various options available here so mainly it's a four first is email then is time based one time password and third is fido u2 f security keys and the fourth is backup verification codes okay so first is the email which we we will cover each and everything one by one so first is enabling to f using email okay so we have a this enabled which is the primary you can also add a secondary but this is the enabled i have enabled enable is uh, authentic course will be sent to this particular email okay so let's just test this out uh, enable this and click on update profile so it will just enable it for you and let's see if it does work or not go to logout and just log in again so it will ask you the verification code has been sent to your email address so let me just go to my email address here oh so i haven't got anything yet mm -hmm. is there Anything in the spam? No, nothing in spam. There's outbox. So it look like it's not working. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, I've just waited. Let me just try it with the recent code. The verification has been sent again. So yes, 
I have got the confirmation code which is this let me just copy that and paste there and click on login so there you go you will get your 2FA enabled so that's the extra added security for you and to enable that you just need to do what I have just said so going again to the profile section so that was the email part and let's see about the next which is the time based OTP so for this what you need is a Google Authenticator app and to use that app you need a phone or you need an iPad or something like that and for that part let's switch off to mobile okay so here is my mobile and you what, what you need to do is you need to uh, install or add Google Authenticator app so here I just need to search for the Authenticator app like this there you go so I have already uh, two set of keys already enabled so what you need to do is go to your dashboard to your profile section here like that and you need to enable this and to enable this you need to scan this particular code in your authenticator app like that what you need to do is uh, pick up your phone and go to add section here here what you need to do is select uh, ads or scan code so it will just start scanning your code like that and here you have a new key enabled okay so your new key enabled here so to enable that you just need to enter this particular key in this authentication code like here okay let it just refresh it so 269693 click on submit so it has been updated so yes it has already been updated so if you want to reset that you can easily reset using the reset key here okay so let's just test it out let me just log out the page there you go so I have logged out the page and now again log in so it said please enter the code generated by authenticator app so let's go back to your app here so I have this code being shown so let me just let it renew that code because it renew after every 30 seconds so let it renew for once more so 167032 go to the authenticate so yes it just enable like that so that's how you can e easily enable Google Authenticator with this particular plugin okay and go again to user and profile so here you have already enabled that okay so one thing is it's actually the most secured way to add a two third authentication to to add two factor security on your website so i just recommend you to use this time based one time password here okay if you want to reset key you can just click on the reset key and it will automatically create a key for you and the next is Fido U2F security keys I don't recommend that because if a hacker is any good or you can say if hacker can actually crack your website then it also cracked such things with the help of uh, Python tools available actually available in the market so I don't recommend to using this but if you want to use that you can easily just click on the register new key here and this particular plugin will start registering your keys okay it will take some time here in the meantime let's uh, move forward to the backup verification codes so you can also enable that just click on this primary authenticated okay so what you need to do is just enable that and click on generate verification code so it will just generate all these verification code and you what you need to do is just copy or download the code using uh, download code button and just enable that and afterwards just click on update profile so there you go it will just created a verification method of backup verification codes so you have already downloaded your code using the downloading codes or let's see and test if it does work or not so let's just call login again and it will just call for the verification code so you need to open that in your text so here are the set of verification codes available copy this into this let's see if it does work yes it does work so that's how you can actually add a 
different layers of two factor authentication using such ways so if you want to add a one or more like something like you have messed up with your google authenticator app or something then you can just select two or three ways like the here here and just keep that one method to be primary such that if that doesn't work then you can actually apply the alternative ways or you can say alternative option so here i've just uh, click on this particular primary as a backup course and rest is uh, my secondary but i have enabled it for my account and now what you need to do is click on update profile so after that let's just log out again log in again so here here i have a verification back of verification codes right let me just write something like that and it will say error invalid verification code so there will be a one more option after that form here it says uh, you or use a backup method and to use a backup method just click on it it will ask you to either an email or a otp so let me just go to the authenticator app again and write the code So there you go. So you will log in using such method. So that's how you can actually implement or enable two or more ways to authenticate your login details. So that's how you can add extra layer of security to your website. So if you have learned something from this, click the like button because that's what we have used the two factor plugin to authenticate your app. And in the next video, we will all carry forward this to another plugin which is 2FA which has a one time code auto just like authenticator app we have used and there is the HOTP which will send OTP to your email you can also configure that plugin using that there's a backup codes and there is a 2FA login with the notification so all this thing will be done on the wp2fa plugin which i will cover in the another video so that's how you can actually install and configure two factor authentication in your wordpress panel so if you have learned something from this video then click the like button and if you want to learn more about wordpress or added securities and more tips about digital marketing then you should subscribe to this channel so see you in the next video until then bye bye